random photo, but I liked it. So I thought I'd do it. Okay, we're gonna take some Smashbox primer and uh, let's start with one at a time. Here, we're gonna start with Kat Von D. I'm really curious to see what the Kat Von D one looks like. And my hair is in a bonnet. Uh, I got big hair, extra big hair. And uh, it's a little more, less distracting, more so on the palette. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to rub that primer in. I think I put on way too much. I'm going to put some on my hands too here. My fingertips. Fingers. Hope everyone's having a great start to the new year. I've got crap in my eye. That's actually really good. This looks really, really good. So we're going to start with Kat Von D Edge of Reality Eyeshadow Palette. This is what the casing looks like. Oh, that's blinding. This is cute. Um, the packaging is okay. Got It has a pretty good um, weight to it. It's white, which is... I love the color of white. But I can never keep it clean. So no matter if it's in clothes form or boxes. Ooh, that's cute. It has little detailings to it. Little stars. Kat Von D is kind of known for her little stars. She has tattoos of stars in them. And on the inside, there looks like there's something written. Y'all are probably not going to be able to see. There you go. Looks like there's something written there. Please ignore my nails as I'm um, in the process of removing them. This is nice and embossed. This has a nice gold reflux to it or gold uh, mirroring to it. Really nice. Um, cardboard, which is a little disappointing, but you know, it is what it is. And this is on sale at Sephora anywhere from $20 to $30. I think it's about $30. Do $25. And it says Vegan Beauty here. And this is the plastic that's over the eyeshadow. And then these are the eyeshadows. Take it in. This is some really good lighting. Take all of this in. Gorgeous. Okay, so we are going to start with Oh, for fuck's sake. What is this? We're going to start with Shimmer. I have not swatched these. Ooh. That's Shimmer. Oh, that's cute. Buttery to the touch. Um, more kind of rose purpley gold with gold reflux underneath. The next shade is going to be Immersion. And I'm going to show y'all this at the end. Immersion. Ooh, Immersion is like a... I feel like it's more satiny with a silver reflux in it. Super pretty. They're more metallic-y, these shades. I feel like metallic-y, sheeny, and then it has that pretty glitter in it. The next shade, ooh, this is a color shift one. I didn't know it was a color shift one in here. This one is Code. Wow. Okay, that's really, really pretty. It is a green and purple color shift with a little bit of reflux in it. Um, this one is metallic-y. What is this one? Oculus. Wow, that's pretty. That is, has no glitter to it. Very nice. I can see why this got really good reviews. Green screen. Really? Green screen dimension. And then, what is this? Transformation. Okay, let's see. These are mattes. So, um, oh, that's buttery. It's really good. Ooh, that's super pigmented. Um, and then we're going to go in with the uh, brown. Oh, my God. Yes. Really nice. Okay, so this is the first row. Okay. These are the colors. Let me close it so I can tell you exactly what these colors are. Okay. So this one right here is... What is it? It's 
simulate, sorry. This is simulate. This is immersion. So simulate, immersion, code is the color shift one. You're probably not going to be able to catch that. It's like purple and uh, purple, a little bit of purple, but more green, green gold color, color shifting. This one's a color shifter. That's pretty cool. Uh, I think this is ocul Oculus. This is just straight metallic. No glitter to it. Very pretty. I'm very attracted to this color. All these colors are going to be very attractive on my skin tone. Very nice. Uh, then green screen. Why is that green screen? Don't ask me. Dimension and transformation. So the last three are all matte. These are like metallics with shimmers on top of them. This is a color shift with shimmer. And then this one's just a straight metallic. That one I like a lot. So that's the first row. The next row, is we're going to be doing... I hope I'm not getting these colors. No, 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 I'm good. There is, okay, let's just swatch these. This is like, I'm not even gonna try to figure this out. Okay, ooh, very pretty. That's a very red copper color. Okay, the next color I'm swatching. Ooh, purple color shifting. Looks a little bit more of a color shift. Blue to purple. I did not know it had color shifting colors in here. So that's probably why this palette is really good. Oh, that purple is divine. Uh, this one I'm very excited for. This one says dark blue. Oh, my flipping. Yes. New Year's Eve. I, darling. Hey, y'all. Welcome. I don't know if my chat's on. Just in case, I think. Okay, just in case. Now I'm going to do this kind of matte blue next to this. Oh my God, fuck my life. That's really, really good. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ooh. Ooh, hello. Come through, Gray. Ooh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, so this is, wow. Wow. So this right here, starting from here to here are the next set of colors in the next row. Oh my God, gagging, honey. Okay, let's go through the colors really quick. Um, I will get better over time. So it is... Illusion is that kind of coppery red copper color. I'm going to try to get, that's going to be this guy right here. There you go. Illusion. Then you have levels. This one's a color shift. It goes from like pink lavender to like a, a silver color. You can kind of sort of see it. Sometimes color shifts are hard to pick up on camera. Very pretty. And then you have escapist which is a nice uh purple almost a, more of a deep purple um metallic and then abyss is this bad boy here now in the pan it's more blue uh, on camera it's like a blue black um, it looks more blue black and then this one is awesome a matte blue and that's it's it looks matte it has shimmer in it Actually, but it doesn't have shimmer when it's written. Teleport. Teleport is really pretty. Teleport. And then this matte color 4D. That's quite gorgeous. And then you have critical, which is right here. That's a good brow bone color if you are on my skin tones. Uh, and I'm going to show you the palette compared to the swatches. I did use a primer on this. So this palette, every eyeshadow shade was buttery. Um, I did not have to dig a lot in the pan. Um, the color payoff is phenomenal. And this is only with a translucent primer. So I'm very, very impressed 
with this. This would make a really pretty uh, New Year's Eve eye, even with this blue, even as a blue base. And this on top, oh my God, yes. And then maybe smoke it out with that. So I see a lot of trios, some quads here. Um, even the matte shades, that's a good trio there. There's a lot of good shades in here. So I can see why this got really good reviews. Super buttery, super pigmented. I'm not a fan of the packaging. I don't really care for white, but I do think the quality of the eyeshadows feel really uh, substantial. So I'm very happy with that. Moving on. Trying to make this quick so y'all not him too late. I'm watching my crazy ass. So today was my last day at work. Um, they, they, actually one person begged me to stay. And I was like, not in my mind, not for all the money in China. It wasn't them personally that I had issues with. It was private stuff. And then it was just all together my purpose in combination with how everything was going with uh some of the leadership it just was not for me so uh today was my last day i signed off on my time card i'm gonna go pick up my check on friday and then maybe i got one more check and then i'm done and then they won't see my ash uh, no more so when i come up there they probably won't even know who i am i'm gonna have glasses on and everything i'm gonna come in get in and get out get my shit and go I'm going to call it there. Check's ready. Check's ready. I'm coming. I'm out. Like, I, I don't want to be up there more than what I need to be. Everything was amicable for the most part. Uh, I stayed two weeks. Um, things were falling apart at the end, and I really feel sorry for my replacement, but I just told him to stay tough and that he'll do good. He'll, he just needs the, a good team behind him, and he'll be fine. Okay, so the next palette is this one. This is the next palette. I don't know who this person is. Somebody let me know who this person is. I don't really... She almost looks like Jacqueline Hill. I ain't gonna lie. Own your Amor Caliente with a spicy limited edition palette developed with superstar beauty influencer and Too Faced BFF Marali. I've never fucking heard of her. That doesn't mean nothing, but I've never heard of her. Uh, this is what the packaging looks like. I like the little glitter, raised glitteredness. That's cute. Amor Hot Love. Um, this palette wasn't particularly um, unique because I think I have something already in my collection like this. But it was on sale and I wanted to try it out. And I was like, hey, why not? You know, YOLO, right? And then plus I had like 20% off. So uh, definitely more of a, a warmer burgundy, you know, love colors. It's going to be reds, your pinks, your golds and things like that. So I'm going to start with Love Me. Then I'm going to go to, uh, I'll just start swatching them. I don't know why I even tell you when I can just swatch them. Oh, smooth. This one is Love Me, matte beige. I like beige. Chancila. Chan Chancila. Ooh, this is kind of chunky. Okay, that's not what that is. It's straight up glitter, y'all. Look at that shit. That, what is that? What is that? There's no color under that. Look at that. I mean... <laughs> That's just straight freaking glitter. I don't really care for that. It's got a little bit of silver reflux in it. No, 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 no. I don't like that. Uh, so Chanchilla is a dud for me. Um, grainy at best. Frenchy. It's more of a pink, um, pink nude color. Definitely got pink undertones to it. Smooth, but it's not as smooth as the Kat Von D and not as smooth as the Visor Art. Santa Monica. Uh, this looks like it's a satin color. Oh, Santa Monica's cute. A Santa Monica. Eh. So far, I'm not feeling this palette. Uh, ooh, ooh. Amorcito, 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 holy fuck, that's really bright, okay, all right, okay, 
I like that color so far. That's my favorite. That's extremely pigmented. Um, chili. I'm hungry. I need to eat something. Oh, this one's very similar to the Kat Von D one. Kind of that coppery color, but it has a little bit of silver glitter in it. And I really like this fucking pink man. That pink, that's dope. That I like. So uh, I didn't like Chanchila. That is just straight pressed glitter with no color underneath. Was not very impressed with that. Amor, uh, Amorcito, Amorcito I liked. A very pigmented bright pink. Like I'm living for that. Let's go to Donut. Why would you have... Why is donut in there? Why why would you name something donut in your palette? This one's nice. Donut. That's a little shiny one. I'm sorry. It's donut right there. Y'all supposed to know. So sorry. Like y'all supposed to know. Love. Love me. Chanchilla. Frenchie. Santa Monica. Amorcito. Chili. And now that's donut. Donut is more um like a white gold. I want to say it's more white gold. Chica is like a, a light uh, neutrally brown. I feel like it's a little bit more on the red side. That's cute. I like that color. That's pretty. I can live with that. It's got a little bit more red undertones with it, which is going to go well with the palette because it's more red, red base. Pantera. I want to put which is a bronze a typical bronze color pantera senorita is like a nude pink a mid-tone pink a senorita oh no it's more mauvey it was really mauvey on my skin that's it right there that's more of a i feel like that goes mauve hot and spicy oh jesus that's very stiff. Oh my God. Okay. Hot and spicy. Hot and spicy is like a very bright, almost burgundy. And the pan is very burgundy. This is goes, uh, this is a, not as burgundy as I would like to go, but I would say it'd be a burgundy. That's actually quite pretty. And then slice. But hot and spicy is very stiff. Oh, I don't like this as much. Okay. And this is slice right here that's slice that's hot and spicy that's senorita that's pan pantera and then uh where is that gold one right here that's right here this is chica and then this is a uh, donut um it's got a good, it has one, two, I say three, four, five, six, six mattes and one, two, three, four shimmers, which I think it's kind of adequate. I'd rather have more mattes and maybe one, two, three, four, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, five kind of uh, eyelid co colors. Um, the color combination's okay. The only color that's like fire in this is this one. I like this color and this palette. So take a look at the color, the palette. Sorry. Um, the kickback is real on this and the pans, the mattes are more dry. They're not as creamy. The satins are not as creamy as say the Kat Von D would be. So I was like, eh, this is, eh. and this is a bomb color, but how is that going to perform on the eye? So that's key. It may look good swatch, but may not perform well on the eye. So, uh, eh, uh, so far I like the Kat Von D. If I really want to be a turd about it, I can return it. But I usually, it wasn't that much money. And I don't mind testing it out. Uh, I do not know who this influencer is. Because I don't really keep up with that anymore. Which is unfortunate. I plan to. Um, I kind of like to not see what everybody else is in doing. Because I feel like it makes an impression on you. So I don't overly try to watch other people's beauty content because I think maybe I can create, it'll help me create my own and have my own ideas a little bit more consistently versus 
well, I like the way this is done, but is it going to translate well? Blah, 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 blah. So I'm trying to... Jackie, Jackie I is pretty cool. I like her stuff, uh, but I've been so behind. I am going to get better about catching up on stuff, but yeah. Anything, pretty rich thing. I've been wanting this one for a while and finally went on sale. It's on sale at Sephora, anywhere. A lot of these palettes are 30 bucks and under 30 to $25. I think this one was about $30, $35. Um, I thought the kit was going to be bigger. I like the packaging a lot better out of all the three. I like the packaging. And here is what the eyeshadows look like. I think it was his last year, Christmas time, this came out. And I was expecting the palette to be about, maybe about this size. But it's cute. The packaging is adorbs. Um, I really like how they did this. It's really, it's, it's probably about my head size. It's not as big as I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to put some more primer on. Look at all that glitter. And this is the last palette. And then I will let y'all be. And I hope y'all have a rocking new year. I know I will be nervous, excited, nervous, excited about the future. Um, nervous, excited. Sorry, I got a, a notification. Lost ADHD. Squirrel. I must see a notification. Okay. Last palette. All right. Let's see if we can make this squeeze all this shit on my hand. First one is Diamond, Diamonds for Breakfast. I like that the names are actually underneath the eyeshadow. Oh, my God. This feels just like the other one. Diamonds for Breakfast. Oh, yeah. Straight glitter. That is straight-ass glitter. What the... This is like a white gold. I think it has a little bit of pink undertones to it. I'm not, mm. There you go. Maybe more silvery. Eh, that is straight glitter. That's very disappointing. I'm going to go underneath that. There's Clutch Your Pearls. I like the name, Clutch Your Pearls. Ooh, was not expecting that. So this looks like, this reminds me a lot of Albatross, except it doesn't have that gold, greenish gold color undertone. Uh, this one, it looks white in the pan. That's it right here. Sorry. Give me the camera. It looks really white in the pan, but when you swatch it, it turns like this pink, purpley color. Come on now. There you go. See what I'm saying? That's pretty dope. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Plus your pearls. Fluent and diamonds. Seems like it's going to be straight glitter. Fucking straight ass glitter. Oh, Lord. Yeah, it is. It is like a very uh, yellowish gold glitter. Don't get me wrong. Your girl loves some... Glitters, I, I really do, but god damn. Let's go ahead and swatch the other glitters. Diamond Graffiti. Diamond Glitter Feety. Oh my gosh, straight fucking glitter again. What is this bullshit here? Oh my god, Diamond Life. Oh my god, that's horrible. The texture on that is gritty. Uh, I mean, I know glitters aren't supposed to be super fucking smooth, but these are all the glitters. Um, I like that pinky one. Straight glitter. Straight pressed glitter. Is not very impressed with that. All right, let's go to the rest of the palette here. Now we're going to go to uh, Coal Under Pressure. Ooh, that's pretty. Coal Under Pressure. That's that black one right there with uh, silver reflux underneath. Sweet, I like that. Come on, redeem yourself. Silver Spoon. Ooh, that's kind of a pewter. Let me dig down a little. That one's a little pewter. Almost has a color shift to it. And then set the jewel tone. Ooh. Okay. So we've got Silver Spoon, which is right here. That's silver pewtery color. That's more pewter. 
And then you've got a set the jewel tone, which is more of a blue purple shift. Has a little bit of shifting in there. That's pretty neat. That's all right. All right, let's go to the next roll here. Look at me. I'm like, eh. Ooh, cashmere is nice. Don't care at all. And that's what that This one, it's cashmere, super soft, buttery smooth. The next one, don't uh, care it at all. It's kind of that gold color. Not a fan of that. And then, oh, that's rich. That's that deep, plummy, burgundy color. That one's really pretty. So I like it's cashmere. And I like, oh, that's rich. That's really, really pretty. So we did Clutch Your Pearls. Now we're going to go to Princess Cut and Highly Selective. These are kind of staining my hands a little bit. Princess Cut. Really? I was not expecting. Okay, gold with a little bit of pink undertones. I thought it was going to be more red. It goes really gold. And uh, Highly Selective. Metallic, both metallic colors. I'm sorry if I didn't tell you what the finishes were. Most of them are metallic, minus the glitters. Princess Cut is this gold one. It has a little bit of color shift in there. You see that little pink? There's a little bit of pink color shift in there. And then uh, Highly Selective is right here next to it. That's what it is. Highly Selective. Princess Cut, that kind of color shift. It's right here and then highly selective highly selective okay last three and then we done we are done um now we go it's designer it's designer major minor oh that's buttery smooth fancy that oh i like that and filthy rich thought i did this one earlier but maybe i didn't okay that's a bronzy color Color. So typical bronze color, color uh, the top one, that bronzy color, that's filthy rich, then followed by fancy that, then you have like your It's Designer all over the lid. Uh, both of those were very buttery, probably the nicest of all the mattes next to cashmere. So cashmere, It's Designer, and fancy that were really nice mattes. And then you have this kind of muted, um, deeper tone brown, uh, filthy rich, which is pretty and I think um the glitters in here I could have done without um not overly impressed with this out of all the three the Kat Von D was my favorite so I can't wait to try out the Kat Von D Kat Von D's eyeshadows are pretty consistent um Too Faced can be a hit or a miss most of the time they're good I think if you know how to work with them they're all right I was like but they're not the brand that I go to for really eyeshadow palettes sometimes. Uh, more so for foundations. A little bit of powders. Um, and then that's it. And moving on from that, I'm cleaning everything off as much as I can with my micro water. Oh my God. Fix it. Fix it, Felix. Oh my God. Look at all this glitter. Oh, I need tape. Ugh. Uh, yeah. Okay, letting that dry. So I got finally got my hands on this because it was on sale, and I got it in the color, color the color uh, chai. Um, it is really matte. I didn't expect it to be this matte. Let's do it on this hand since I got a lot of glitter on the other one. Uh, I like the packaging. Feels nice and weighted in the hand. Um, the inside's really cute. Look at that. That's cute. It's brown, just like me. Makes me feel special. Peach. Oops, sorry. Gotta put it in that way. There you go. And uh, this is what the color looks like. Spoiler alert, I do like the Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation. I think it's kind of kicking NARS's matte foundation right in its balls. Um, photographs extremely well. It looks like I'm airbrushed. It's really, really nice. And it's very forgiving on my skin. This is nice. I mean, almost instantly goes really matte. So, uh, sorry. 
sometimes the camera likes to focus on me. That the color match is pretty good, similar to the other Too Faced Born This Way. Blends right into the skin. I feel like it's more medium full, really soft and buttery on the skin. So you can see it kind of blurs a little bit. Blurs a little bit, does a little bit of soothe, a smoothing effect. And then that's kind of the color tone right there. Uh, it's nice. So I'm really excited to try it. Really excited to try it. I dropped it. Oh, and it came right out of the thing. So I got this from Sephora and it came kind of half-ass open because they had squished the packaging. Uh, Sephora is not the best right now at its packaging stuff anyway. So that's it. Uh, all my new makeup that I've swatched. I hope to do some makeup tutorials coming up here soon. I want to definitely review that um, NARS matte foundation. Born This Way Too Faced foundation. I hope to follow soon after. Um with the review and hopefully be quick easy and to the point and, and enjoyable and i can get back on a roll again there's not a lot of new foundations out so i'll probably be doing more tutorials tips and tricks things of that nature to kind of get videos out to y'all try to make them short and sweet and to the point and uh yeah i'm also on tiktok i'm also on uh instagram if you kind of want to see laughs, giggles, something a little bit more serious, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, you can check out my TikTok. That's kind of a totally different platform for me. So I'm experimenting with a lot of different things, which I'm having a great time doing. And then Instagram is going to be more beauty related. It's going to be more attached to my YouTube videos. Like once I do a foundation review, if you want to see pictures and how it photographs professionally, you can go to my Instagram and it shows uh, most of my pictures are done uh, with DSLR, professional grade cameras. And uh, no editing, no touch-up or anything. I pride myself on that. So you can actually see what it looks like in a professional camera without any filters or anything else like that. Anyway, thanks for watching. I uh, will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace out. Happy New Year. I'll see you next year, 2021. Bye.